Good evening. For those of you, you that don't know me, my name is Michael Light. I'm a parent of a child in the Spreckles District. My grandmother was Eloise Wright. She made history in her lifetime as a woman with more years in education than anyone in the state of California. Over 64 years, most of which was here in Monterey County. She developed the truancy program in the 80s with DA Flippo to inform parents of their legal obligation to have their children in school, along with so many enrichment programs for our adolescent community. She served as the president of the board of Monterey County Education. I come from a family of educators from kindergarten to the dean of students in Penn State. Lipes know and understand education. I ate lunch in this very room in the 70s. In 1980, I remember Leon Panetta pulling me up next to him outside on those front steps, talking about leadership when I was in Miss Fletcher's first grade class. My son, uh, Cody, graduated from Buena Vista. That time, we are blessed to have Eric Tarallo in our lives. At that time, we are blessed to have him. He was a steady ship that single-handedly made a difference in his life. There are two things I know without question. Eric Tarallo and Teresa Sharpinski love our kids as if they were their own. Thank you so much for your leadership and being a part of this district and your dedication. I'm here to make two points that as a parent and neighbor, I have grave concerns about. The first issue has to do with our medical freedom and privacy. It is the usage of masks. The new school year needs to be without masks. If this district continues into the new school year requiring masks, I task the research, the leadership in this room to provide the scientific research and studies proving that extended mask usage significantly mitigates this virus. Upon request, I can provide this leadership with numerous studies showing when the N95 and or other masks are used for extended periods that it can cause lung cancer. I can send the studies showing the masks create an environment within the mask that breeds virus and bacterial growth, not to mention an escalated CO2 intake that is detrimental and not conducive to focused learning. There are numerous studies as to the destruction of our mental health as humans by continued mask usage, and it is crystal clear that it does not mitigate this virus. No masks. The second point I'd like to make has to do with what was discussed in the last meeting. It has to do with systemic racism that is being created and promoted within the confines of this district, perpetuated by members on this board. The resolution put forward last meeting in regards to Asian hate was one of the most racist statements I've ever heard in my life. I first would like to commend this gentleman here on the board, Chris, for him refuting this ridiculously racist resolution. And I really thank him for his time and hope that he continues to participate on this board. Our, our community was torn to pieces during World War II in regards to our Asian American community. Our amazing neighbors right here, the Tanamuras, were locked up, along with Henry Hybino, former Mayor Salinas, and so many other great Americans. We have dealt with this issue in this community decades ago. This resolution put forward as an example of systemic racism and its communist undertone of conquest through division. It is political activism. There is absolutely no place for political activism within the leadership of this board. I would also add that the second board member that voted for this resolution should also step down as they promoted this political activism within the confines of this board. We cannot allow these activists to bring proposed adult problems with no supporting evidence into the classrooms of our children. As some teachers have suggested, we don't want babysitters at our school. We want educators. It is absolutely critical that this board stands up to the abominable teachers union that is using our children as leverage for their negotiation and demand teachers show up for full-time in-person education. If they refuse, they need to be terminated and find work in another sector where they can shelter in place. In regards to following county guidelines, 
This district is not beholden to the advice of the county, state, or CDC. Just like Donald Trump could not tell Gavin Newsom how he was going to run his state, Gavin Newsom cannot tell this county how it will run. So is said the, for the county telling the district how we will conduct education at this school. Power in America starts in this room, people, and it goes up. It doesn't go the other way. I ask this board to be bold and stand for your constituents. Stand for our children. It will not be easy, but I promise you, us as parents have your back. And we will fight every step of the way with you to ensure our children will no longer be abused by these unconstitutional mandates levied against us. And I'd just like to end with a little piece from a, a great president, John F. Kennedy, his executive order 10925, True Voice for Equality. We must take affirmative action to ensure that all Americans are treated equally without regard to race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Thank you.